Hey everyone, real quick I want to thank sponsor today's video being Krakatoa Coffee Company. The so Krakatoa Coffee Company is an individually sold and subscription based coffee service. They sell a variety of fresh and specialty coffees and it's even roasted to order. Of course they have your ground option like I have, but they also have whole bean options, single serving cup options, etc. Fun fact, while you may consider me a food connoisseur, I'm actually not a coffee connoisseur and that's why I really like the Krakatoa website. Essentially if you're not sure kind of what flavors, acidity, and caffeine content you're looking for, you can look at the little graph on their website and kind of figure it out. Turns out a dark roast actually has less caffeine than a light roast. Each month they also have featured coffee, which is actually 15% off. They also ship to the United States and Canada. But if you're looking for more than just coffee, don't worry. They have a whole bunch of merch, tumblers, mugs, etc. Really all your coffee drinker needs. So if you're looking for some fresh, great smelling, great tasting coffee, go to KrakatoaCC.com today and use the code CRACKFAN10. Yes, CRACKFAN10 to save yourself 10% on your first order. Hey everyone. Lance here. Today we are in Huntsville, Alabama. Outside, I don't know if we can even see it from here. El Omeka. Somewhere. That one. Yeah, El Omeka. El Omeka. Here to the burrito challenge. So this is a very large burrito challenge. It's a wet burrito, being that they serve it with different salsas. It's a salsa verde, a salsa roja, so a red salsa, a green salsa, but they are, the red one is apparently spicy, and queso cheese on top. And the burrito, I heard, is Six pounds, at least according to uh, foodchallenges.com, I read online. However, in here they said, uh, somebody, when I was talking to them, said it was eight pounds. So between six and eight pounds, so definitely a big burrito. You only have 20 minutes to complete the burrito to get it for free. Uh, and if you win, you also get, I believe, a 10 or $15 gift card on top of the free meal, uh, which is pretty cool. And if you fail, I believe the burrito is $30. So let's head in, let's have some fun, let's eat food. Wish us luck. Hi everyone, here with the burrito. So it's definitely by far the biggest six pound burrito I've ever seen. This thing's absolutely giant. It's also swimming in sauce. So like all the uh, all the salsa, it's sort of like in a pool of salsa. Um, so it looks pretty interesting. Okay, we're only gonna have 20 minutes. We're pretty, uh, pretty quick, that's for sure. But if we uh, win, get we meal for free. Um, it's obviously loud in here, so I'm talking like this, but uh, that's about that. It's really hot, I'm going to cool down a bit. It's definitely going to be messy, but then we'll get started. All right, so 20 minutes, how about we get started? So how do we say, on the count of five, four, three, two, one, let's go. Flavorful. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here in Huntsville, Alabama. Yes, Huntsville, Alabama at El Olmeca doing their big, big, big burrito challenge. So this is again about a six to eight pound uh, burrito. Depends on your source. I definitely think mine was probably closer to that about eight pound mark. Um, it was very large as you can see and just absolutely doused in all the sauces and salsas. Um, although I will say, it was very, very tasty. The first bites are really good. The sauces and the seasonings are really nice. So as we mentioned, you have 20 minutes to complete this. If not, you're facing the $30 price tag. Um, you do not need to call in advance to come and try the challenge. Uh, I did, I did, you know, I of course call ahead just to be sure, but you do not actually need to call ahead to come in and try the challenge. You can do it at any point. The red salsa is spicy though. So the place was very busy when I was there. Um, they obviously had some copyrighted music playing, so I can't have too much of natural commentary. Um, but besides that, uh, it seemed like a really, you know, the staff seemed really, really nice and definitely a very popular place. It was kind of in like Northern Huntsville, if that makes sense. Um, and I think it was arguably by the university area, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so with this burrito, uh, you did get to pick the meats. I went with um, just like half beef, half chicken. Basically, that was your choice. They're like, do you want beef or chicken? I went with half and half. Um, we had the salsa verde, which is a green salsa. It was, I, I don't like, I would say maybe it had a little bit of spice to it. Definitely quite acidic. We then had that cheese layer in the middle, um, which was again, just kind of like a, a loose queso, I guess they'd probably call it like a runny, runny-ish cheese sauce, not very viscous. And then we had the red salsa, the salsa roja, which I will say that red salsa definitely packed a kick. It was surprisingly spicy. 
Um, this was like, again, just like the standard salsas they offered. And for this to be their standard red salsa, I found it definitely on the spicier end, which I knew was going to complicate the challenge as this thing was so large. And I do find that when I'm eating large quantities, spicy food, like really spicy food, can sometimes sit a little weird in my stomach. Um, as well in the burrito, we had uh, refried beans, you had rice, you had lettuce, you had tomatoes, and I believe onions, um, in addition, of course, to the meats. There, I'm not, I don't recall if there was any more cheese on the inside, but there might have been some shredded cheese as well, and no substitutions were allowed. So, like, if you didn't like lettuce, you, they wouldn't take it out. It, you know, you got it as it came, which is, to me, is absolutely fine. A lot of challenges are like that, and that doesn't bother me. I also generally like all those items. I like my vegetables. There was um, about three uh, very large tortillas, if I recall correctly, three or four, um, kind of comprising the burrito, one on each end, and I believe it was one in the middle, but it might have been two. Um, obviously, it was very sauced, a little more difficult to kind of tell, um, but like I said, the flavors were really, really nice, um, which was made this all better. I've had some big burritos before, and the flavor is pretty mediocre, but this one was actually really enjoyable. The strategy behind this challenge was to eat everything that was not covered in the red salsa first and then have the spicier stuff. As once we got into the spicy salsa, I knew it was just going to make things more difficult. Contrary to common belief, um, a lot of people often say, why don't you eat the spicy bit first or have a little bit of the spicy as you go along? For myself, it is much more difficult to have, you know, uh, a burning mouth to be you know suffering the effects of very spicy food and be in pain and then continue eating it is much easier for myself to eat as much as i can and then take all the spiciness in as short a period of time as possible um, again that's just my preference but you know that answers a question that some people often say no it is not easier no it is not better it is much better to save it for the end <laughs> Generally, I find the quickest way to eat a burrito, like for a burrito challenge, is to pick it up. However, this thing was so sauced, literally with like a half an inch of sauce, like bathing all around it in a boat, um, that I definitely had to use a spoon unless I was literally gonna get absolutely, absolutely messy and just covered in it. So I kind of just hit it with the spoon and uh, that seemed to be a work, pretty good working technique. Um, but overall, that's pretty much the majority of the information. Ultimately, let's tune on in, see if we can get this done in the short 20 minute time limit. And at that, let's see what happens. <laughs> right here. So we're at five minutes, 40 seconds in. Doing not too bad. The red sauce is quite spicy, but it's a good burrito. Big one.
glass is soaked in spicy salsa. Ooh. Ten and a half minutes, finish that up. Definitely a giant burrito, quite a, quite spicy. Uh, but for that, we get the fruit, which is pretty cool. And uh, that's about it. Do you, get a, do you get a t shirt or anything? Or what, what do you get for beating it? Real free and what? Uh, this is free yeah. because you're finished. Cool. And one big part for uh, the and I believe like gift card, which is about $15 or so. So that's pretty cool. So that everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely a very delicious burrito. Very, very large. And uh, for that everyone, gracias, mucho gusto, ciao. And uh, want to know just have a good night. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.